Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, got one? Oh, oh, oh got another one. one. Awesome. How job. about that? I like this kind of fishing. Here it is. We're at the first father-son challenge. And uh, you know, as much as I'd like to, I can't take them both on at the same time. We're in Southeast Texas at a community lake. We, we're not gonna divulge too much. It's their little secret fishing hole. Uh, it's kind of a neat deal though, because Dakota, you know, LSU fishing team student, I'm gonna fish with him first. And Dakota's never fished uh, this little lake we're at here. He's just heard about it, how amazing it is from his dad. The next episode, we're going to go with his dad, Kylie. This is a lake that he says is really special. We're hoping that uh, this thing turns out to be quite the uh, fish catching fest. Hey, there he is. What's going Dakota? on? Dakota? Yes, sir. Nice to finally meet you. Yes, sir. Nice uh, to I'm, meet you. I'm glad uh, you, you challenged me to this deal. This uh, looks like a lot of fun. It looks awesome. It I, really know, I know you said your dad's talked this place up, and I know you said you wanted to fish it, so. Uh, Let's see if we can go put our heads together and, and see what, what happens out here. I'm excited. What do you think? All oh, right, yeah. come on in. Hey, my name is Dakota Sparks. I'm a full-time student at LSU. I live in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I fish the Collegiate Series for LSU. I'm actually the president of the fishing team. Pretty excited to be on Pro vs. Joe today. My dad and I actually challenged Brent uh, together to kind of do a father-son duo. We came down to a lake. It's supposed to be an incredible fishery. I've never actually fished it. My dad has and has done really well. Hopefully we can beat Brennan his own game, not once, but twice. Dakota, what an amazing looking fishery here. This looks like this should be a lot of fun. But uh, before we before we get fishing here, I gotta go over a couple of the rules of uh, Pro versus Joe. Okay. Or, or what, we're, what we're fishing for. You know, we're fishing for the first fish, the most fish, and the biggest fish. And I guess I gotta also say that, it, you know, it's at any time I can change the rules like I, however I want them to fit me too. So. Okay. <laughs> but uh, no, it, it'll be fun. We're, like I said, main thing is let's go out and have some fun and, and see what happens. Let's go find a few fish. Yeah. All right, Dakota, are you ready? Oh, I'll yeah. I'll even let you have the first cast. Let me... Knock yourself out. <laughs> I'll probably set the hook with this. And... First, most, and biggest. The only one that you can't uh, can't lose is whoever catches that first one. And they gotta be 12 inches long. Okay. But all I can say is when you come somewhere and you're sitting and looking here at the Garmin and it's 19 foot deep and we're on the edge of grass, there's gotta be some good fishing in here. I haven't seen any shad, have you seen any? I have, I've, when we first pulled up here, I saw some on the graph like a school of shad you know, down about 15 foot. See that this is the neat thing about this though, you're liable to, I mean, we could catch a 25 pound bag out of one, one little patch. clump here if we find the right little clump. That's what See, this is how Rayburn used to be. Oh, that's uh -oh. a good one. Uh, that's a good one. Uh-oh. Damn. Stay on. It's a nice one. Stay on. Don't you get in that grass. Don't you the good thing grass. about Pro versus Joe is we can use a net. Don't you get in that grass. That's a real good one. All right. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Good job, yeah. man. Yes, sir. I think we're liable to have some fun <laughs> here. Now you're catching me. Oh, Grab that right. fish. I'll take you. That's yours. Good job. Now he's got the first, most, and oh, biggest, yeah. so uh, my work's cut out for me. We're going to save a little waypoint right here. Awesome How job. About that? Brent Chapman's Pro vs. Joe, brought to you by Maxis Tires, your way to adventure. Garmin Panoptics, 
all-seeing sonar. Join the pros who switched to Garmin. See, see how this is different? This is a different. This is Hydrilla here, My and bad. you can actually see the little canopies down in here. And if you can find that right canopy, I mean, there's liable to be a a 25-pound bag underneath one of these canopies if we can just find the right one. That's that's one thing that I noticed watching a lot of the uh, like the major league fishing stuff. Mm -hmm. A lot of guys are talking whenever they're talking about fishing grass, especially a lot of it. Mm -hmm. They're like, pretty much the general consensus is if you can find them in the grass, it's a way to load the boat quick. Oh yeah. But it's just finding them that takes a little time. Exactly. And for us here, we're all anxious and we want to make it happen right this second, but sometimes it just takes a little time. So with that being said, you might be in trouble now. I might be? Yeah, the gloves are coming off now. Okay. You just put them on. They, yeah, I just put the gloves on now, so time to get uh, going. We just gotta find that wad of them, you know? Uh-oh! Oh, uh -oh. no. no. Uh-oh, that's a, get the net. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna put it in, let you lead him. That's fine. Let you lead him. I'm gonna mark this on the GPS. Holy cow. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh, yeah! <laughs> yeah! This is a stout one. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Hey, guess what, Dakota? Oh, I know. I know. <laughs> you you want to see this one? Let me just leave it. Yeah, I'll get it. 636. Now that is a way to uh, start the day. Oh man. 636. Beautiful. Gosh, that's a good one. I like, uh, I like this kind of fishing. Man, that was awesome. See a fish. How deep does that one dive? About six foot? Yeah. That one it, it, it's not a bad thing to try because I'm, I'm getting too deep in a lot of places out here and that's the thing. There's no good... Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. You Do you need a net or are you going to swing him? I got him. Okay. Oh. Not a giant, but uh, guess what? Ate it right at the boat, huh? Right as I jerked it through that, you know, just got that reaction strike out of the grass. What do you think? It's pretty. Nice two pounder. That was fun. See Dakota, now here we fished along and we caught those two fish real quick. Yeah. That's a spot I, I save waypoints here on the on the Garmin. Two two waypoints. And that's something whenever you catch a fish, it's always good to save it. Because now we can go back to that one little area and you know try some other techniques. It'd be a good place to go in there and, and throw a jig or a worm or something down deeper in that grass because there could be a big school of fish there. Work it over. Yeah, really uh, make the most of that, that area. See, he looks like he's just graphing. Fish. Oh, there, there he one. is. All right, a little guy. But guess what? You tied it back up. Tied it back. Not oh, very big, right. but he counts. Yep. Oh, it's feisty. Well, I, I, I'm going to say this little point in front of us has got some fish on it somewhere. So we will work up to it and we will work our way from shallow out to deep. How about that? And we'll let, we'll let, the, we'll let the fish tell us what they want. If we catch them on a frog, I am perfectly fine. Uh-oh. There he is. On the spinnerbait. Oh. Guess what? It's not a giant, but... Uh, I think he'll make it. Yep. Not a giant by any means. 
But I think I'm ahead now, huh? Yeah. At least in most. Thanks, thanks for uh, I think I'm ahead now. reminding me of that. Thank you, sir. Finally jabbed and landed one. I guess I need to. I guess I need to punch back here. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Pro vs. Joe, brought to you by Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here. Fulton, waves of innovation. Oh, what was that? Look at that one was chasing it, darn it. Throw up there. What happened there? Something happened. You're going to show me what happened, aren't you, or what I missed. I don't know if I had a fish on for a second, or... There he is. <laughs> is it a good one? I oh, can't tell. Yeah, it is. It's oh, a decent yeah. one. Oh, he came oh. off! Darn it, that was a big one. Felt good. How did he just come, just unbutton like that? I mean, just... That I don't know. That's wild though. I had a fish on briefly. Holy cow. I got some hooks. Hold on. What Straighten the, the hook out. I've never seen that before. On the, I've never had that happen. I don't have any red hooks. I hope that wasn't. I, hope I, that's, got, I got some more. I hope that's not them. the deal. Oh, it's... oh gosh. No. Whoa. That fish slammed it. I don't think he's big, but, oh, it's a nice one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Where's those pliers? How about that? That was a fun bite right there. It's a pretty one. Good two something. This is fun. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? We come back here and we've been here five minutes and we've had two that quick. Now we're right around, you know, that's one thing I think is so important. Every time we catch a fish, I save a waypoint. So what you do, you know, when you're out hey. here, oh, got one? There's a good one. Yeah. Not a giant, but a nice one. Do we need the... He's, oh. he's not hooked very well. Oh, 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 you got another two. one. Oh, oh. We had two at once. He's not hooked very well. I wonder if that's what happened to you before. Might have doubled up, huh? Good job. You might have. They're here. They're here. No doubt. How about that one? Beauty. It's pretty. It's solid. They, and these, these are the, the little guys, you know? And they're fun, though. They slam that crankbait, don't they? This is awesome out here. Oh, that's a fish, I think. That's a fish. That's a fish. That's a fish. That's a fish. Look, I'm going to catch one just out me. here. What a good fish. Huh. Oh, yeah. That's a better fish than I thought. Look at that. Now, that is a bonus fish. Dakota, you see that, right? I see it. Means we're tied up, huh? What you call a fun fishery when you're catching three plus pounders and just the nice average fish there. But see, that's the thing. This lake's got so much vegetation in it. The lake's dropping. It's got these fish out here and just need to keep hunting, I guess. Hey, Dakota, check this out. Can you see this? This is, uh, you know, here's this hump where we caught some fish, but right here, we're, we're coming up to it. There, there's a uh, another hump here, so we'll get over here and see what this one has to offer. Looks good. Probably should make a few more casts right around this little spot, especially after looking at the graph. Yep. Oh, ho, ho. ridiculous! Ridiculous. I don't know. Yeah, that's a keeper. Yeah, that's a, keep. a keeper. <clears throat> so I'm trying to get one in my hand here. I'm thinking I'm making an executive decision on my tactics. Not influenced by you catching any at Not all. Not big, but... Uh... Oh. 
This is fun. So I, I've got to ask you, since you have a HydroWave mounted, has it ever made a discernible difference in oh, your absolutely, fishing? Oh, absolutely. Serious? Just like this type of fishing where fish are out like this, I mean, I've seen some weird stuff happen. I've seen at Gunnersville in the heat of the summer when it's bluebird skies and no wind, and you know, they bite real good in the morning and then it just gets tough. Yeah. I had, I've had fish come up schooling all around the boat and that's the only thing. I'm, and then you get away from the spot. Spot? What in the world? That's a fish. <laughs> what? Look at that. Oh my gosh. Ha. I like this. Dakota, you see that, right? I see it. Whoa, I just stepped on your rod. I about broke my rod. Brent Chapman's Pro vs. Joe, brought to you by Freybill. Trusted gear since 1938. Plano, protect your passion. Livingston Lures, featuring electronic bait fish sound technology. Sportsman's Shake, power your obsession. This is Joe, brought to Pitbull Cutters, the best braided line cutters, period. Power Pole, swift, silent, secure. Being a tournament angler, we spend a lot of time on the road, and obviously safety is a very important key, so we always want to double check everything and triple check. So as we get hooked up, ready to go here, we're going to make sure the F2 is properly secured to the boat trailer, nice and tight here, not going to be bouncing around. Got our safety strap attached. We're going to take the Fulton winch here, jack it down onto the truck and make sure it's properly secure. Put this thing up, lock it in place. Lock that in place. We're going to make sure our safety cable is attached properly that way if, uh, God forbid our trailer ever leaves the truck, this will uh, actually engage the brakes on the trailer and won't go to rolling down the highway. And then obviously our safety chains, get those properly secured here. These are kind of self-explanatory. You don't ever want to have to rely on these, but uh, I've had to have that happen before. I've had it happen before and they say they saved me. So, uh, and then obviously our lights properly secured. So. There you have it. Uh oh, he's getting that spinnerbait out. My spinnerbait I have tied on a Texas rig rod. All I know is if we came here in January or February. There he is. Oh, good one. Uh, it's like a decent, decent one. Do we need the net on that one? I can't tell. No, I think I can swing him. Here, I'll, that's it. <laughs> all right. Oh, yeah. Here, you, I'll let you grab him, though. He's all yours now. Oh, yeah. Well, that's a good you're, one. You're keeping it, uh, oh, dang, spinner keeping bait. it close there. On the spinnerbait again. Oh. Kind of makes you wonder what would have happened if you just kept throwing that spinnerbait. just throwing bait, it all you know? day. But I mean, it, you know, that spinner bait, it just, it, you know, it, it catches them. It's a good little chunk. Good job. Oh. You know, regardless, Dakota, I know one thing, if we were in a buddy tournament today, we'd have a nice bag of fish. We'd you know? have a solid limit. Yeah. Now I'm thinking I really should have never put the spinner bait down, to be honest. Yeah. And he came off that inside edge. Yeah. They're just, they're up suspended around these clumps like that and that's what this crankbait's doing too you know I mean it's just you really I'm telling you right now I know for a fact you could tear them off on a rig Pro you're probably you're, right <laughs> you really could I probably should dig one out got about 10 minutes left the score is five to six I've got six by the way yeah so now, if you catch a six one time, we might have to have a sudden death fish off, but uh, let's, uh, let's end it on a good note. Let's catch two giants. I'm fine with that. Well, Dakota, I had a great time. Uh, I think you enjoyed it too. Uh, I guess next, we're, I'm gonna take your dad on. You know, uh, he's obviously taught you well, so 
I'm really looking forward to fishing against your dad now, so I uh, can't wait to see what he has to offer. I hope he can, uh, I hope he can pull something out against you. No, we'll, see, we'll see what happens, so thank you again. Yes, sir, thank you. What a great day Dakota and I had out, uh, out here on the lake. It was a lot of fun. Uh, you know, I got to catch a big fish, and uh, Dakota, you know, he caught that first fish, so my hat's off to him. I did catch the first fish, which having that first one kind of, you know, it, it kind of filled me in. I didn't have to, uh, I didn't have to work for that one as much. Brent, uh, he did catch the biggest fish. Uh, after that, we were kind of neck and neck for a while there. We'd pull up on a spot, he'd catch one, I'd catch one. Dakota and I both said if this was a, a buddy tournament, we would have had a really nice bag of fish. I also had the tie fish come off at the boat, but uh, he barely edged me out. That's one of the great things about Pro versus Joe. Uh, it, it's real, you know, we're, we're not always going to some stock pond. Uh, we're, we're, we're just going out there and, and making the most of what we have in a day's time. You know, at the end of the day, you really can't be upset about getting beat by a guy who's won AOI and fished multiple classics, so I'm happy with it. Really enjoyed fishing with Dakota, and uh, like I said, Maybe one of these days, him and I will be at the Bassmasters Classic together. My dad will be fishing against him, and my dad has a little bit of history on this lake, so maybe that will be the difference maker uh, between him and Brent's competition. But tune in next week to Pro vs. Joe, and uh, like I said, hopefully my dad will pull out the win.